Speak your truth, girl. Who qualifies how to put a work on these people? What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, aka the queen of paperwork, and I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment educational purposes only. All information used in this video is per the Fair Use Act, and any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it. All right, y'all. For those who do not know, currently, YNW Millie um, is on trial for double murder, okay? He is facing the death penalty if convicted of the murder charges, okay? Just a little background. The previous trial ended in a mistrial, and they were stuck on the manslaughter. However, totally new trial, totally new jury. There's no telling which way they will go. Before I get into the Millie case, I do want to shed light on some innocent men, right, that have been executed, not just in Florida, but in other states also. This particular case is Leo Jones, Florida, executed in 1998. Overall, it says here, Jones was convicted of murdering a police officer in Jacksonville, Florida. Jones signed a confession after several hours of police interrogation. But he later claimed that the confession was coerced. In the mid-1980s, the policeman who arrested Jones and the detective who took his confession was forced out of uniform for ethical violations. The policeman was later identified by a fellow officer as an enforcer who had used torture. Many witnesses came forward pointing to another suspect in this case. The death penalty. I'm going to be honest, this is one of those things where you got to be for real. You got to make sure you're sending the right person to death row because there's no takes backs. There's no, none of that. Once it's done, it's done. Another conviction slash um, execution was Gary Graham in Texas. And it says on June 22nd, 2000, Gary Graham was executed in Texas, despite claims he was innocent. Graham was 17 when he was charged with the 1981 robbery and shooting of Bobby Lambert outside of a Houston supermarket. He was convicted primarily on the testimony of one witness, Verdine Skillern, who said she saw the killer's face for a few seconds through her car windshield from a distance of 30 to 40 feet away. Two other witnesses, both who worked at the grocery store and said they got a good look at the assailant, said Graham was not the killer, but were never interviewed by Graham's court-appointed attorney, Ronald Mock, and were not called to testify at trial. Three of the jurors who voted to convict Graham signed affidavits saying they would have voted differently had all the evidence been available. Mm, all the evidence made available for people to make their own judgment. That's why. First part of being able to seat the death penalty in a case. In YNW Melly's particular case, okay, her Detective Moretti on his August 25th, 2021 deposition, YNW Melly committed murders to make money or to gain money, right? Allegedly, $200,000 was to be paid to victim number one who was sitting in the front passenger seat. The source of these allegations came from victim number one Facebook messages, excuse the errors, and testimony of victim number one mother. Evidence? None. The detective already admits to assuming that Melly would gain the money since no funds were paid to victim number one. You can find that on page nine of his deposition. Say it way back into another innocent man who was executed. This was in Texas. Ruben Katu, a two-part investigation series by the Houston Chronicle, cast serious doubt on the guilt of a Texas man who was executed in 1993. Ruben Cantu had persistently proclaimed his innocence and was only 17 when he was charged with capital murder for shooting death of a San Antonio man during an attempted robbery. Now, the prosecutor and the jury forewoman have expressed doubts about the case. Moreover, both 
a key witness in the state's case against Cantu and Cantu's co-defendants have come forward to say the Texas executed an innocent man. That's crazy. The next part, a capital felony, especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel. And yes, I know I said that for me. Per Detective Moretti on August 25th, 2021 in his deposition, the crimes were all three. Victim one and victim two was shot in cold blood in the head. The source of this information is the investigation. The evidence, according to Detective Moretti, the manner in which the murders transpired. Detective Moretti stated no other evidence aside from what's listed above, meaning the manner in which the murders transpired is available for this. That's on page 10 on the deposition. Next, Texas need to get it together. I've seen a lot of Texas um, cases. David Spence. Spence was charged with murdering three teenagers in 1982. He was allegedly hired by a convenience store owner to kill another girl and kill these victims by mistake. The convenience store owner, Manur Dub, or however you pronounce it, was originally convicted and sentenced to death and then acquitted at retrial. The police, the lieutenant who supervised the investigation of Spence, Marvin Horton, later concluded, I do not think David Spence committed this crime. Raymond Salas, and I know I'm probably saying these names wrong, the homicide detective who actually conducted the investigation said, my opinion is that David Spence was innocent. Nothing from the investigation ever led us to any evidence that he was involved. No physical evidence connected Spence to the crime. The case against Spence was pursued by a zealous narcotics cop who relied on testimony of prison inmates who were granted favors in return for testimony. Mm. The next part, which is the third part in Florida for the death penalty, crime was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner. Premeditated, according to Detective Moretti, was drove to an isolated area. Evidence shows the drive was at ease, in and out quickly, no hesitation. It appears they knew where they were going and when they were returning. The source of this investigation, evidence, video, detective Moretti stated they found a murder scene without, excuse me, with ease. The source, the investigation, evidence, video, detective Moretti stated they found the murder scene with ease. And that's on page 11. And I do want to just point out the video would be one of the videos or all of the videos that was shown. In my opinion, it would have been the highway video. But again, he don't go in detail which video. Troy Davis, Georgia. After that hearing on September 19, 2011, the Georgia Board of Pardons and Paroles denied clemency for Troy Davis despite presentation of testimony casting doubt on his guilt. If we fast forward down, it does state here that the board heard testimony from a juror in Davis' original trial who now says she has too much doubt about his guilt and would change her verdict. They also heard from a witness who originally testified against Davis but has since recanted her testimony and from Davis' family. The board had held two previous clemency hearings for Davis, but the makeup of the board had changed since he was denied clemency in 2008, and new testimony had been given at a federal court hearing in 2010. Davis was executed late on the night of September 21, 2011. The U.S. Supreme Court denied the execution to consider final appeals, but then denied a state. And I meant to say delay the execution. The last part in Florida to get the death penalty is felony committed by a gang member. According to Detective Moretti on August 25th, 2021, they have evidence of hand signals on a mission, and they're not referencing what he, per se, wasn't referencing to music, only text messages. The sources of the investigation, evidence is videos and texts. 
Detective Moretti stated that a tech showed Melly pledging allegiance or alliance to the United Blood Nation. That's on page 12. With that, so far, it's only three out of four with actual evidence. Not saying it if the evidence is concrete, but it's evidence. The only one that doesn't have evidence is the financial gain. All it had is text messages and the words of victim number one's mom in regards to money in the sum of 200000 My thing is this, in the deposition, Moretti is the one that's piecing it to point to Melly with no evidence, assumption, illusion. But the Supreme Court withheld that this should be a death penalty case. Mm. Listening to some of the stories I said so far, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let's get into a little bit of detail about the death penalty in Florida. Only eight votes are needed to grant the death penalty, right? In 2023, Governor Ron DeSantis signs a bill ending the requirement for juries to vote unanimously to recommend capital punishment in a capital felony case in order for a judge to sentence a defendant to death. An eight juror majority is now needed for the death sentence to be imposed. In Florida, these are the statistics, okay? Um, it's been about 105 executions since 1976. And again, y'all can look over it. Um, it's only been six clemencies granted, and that was back in like the 80s um, due to the governor at the time. I can't remember. I think it was like Bob something. Um, stating they it was possibility they was innocent. 30 people have been free from death penalty. Not just 30 people, 30 innocent people. That's a lot. I'm not even lying. That's a lot of people to have on death row to be innocent, right? Now, it is an alternative to the death penalty, which is life in prison. Now, I don't know about y'all. If I had some uncertainty of someone actually being guilty based off of the evidence, I would prefer to be the one picking life, not death. These are some of the names I went over throughout this video that was executed, but possibly innocent. That's a lot of names, especially when you're stating that a jury of your peers sentenced you to death, but you really wasn't guilty. Now, I will say this. A lot of the cases we went over, it all relied on witnesses, which in the end, caused a wrongful conviction. Mm. A lot of this that we talked about so far isn't about physical evidence or nothing like that. It's about people, overzealous cops, dirty cops, witnesses that's confused, snitches that want to get a time cut. But again, that's the way it go. Last one here, and this is just something that has you to wonder, right? This particular conviction, his lawyers obtained records from the FBI and prosecutors showing that ammunition was not as rare as prosecutors had said and learned that prosecutors had withheld information about a tilt to police that the murders may have been connected to drug trafficking. Later, a woman came forward saying that her boyfriend and his friends had committed the murders after a drug, drug deal had gone wrong. The wife of one of the other men corroborated her story. In a court filing shortly before his execution, Bowers' attorney argued, this is a case in which there is significant lingering doubt regarding guilt or innocence. In addition to issues related to his innocence, Three Supreme Court justices said that Bauer should have been granted a new sentencing hearing as a result of what they called a glaring constitutional error that impaired the jury's consideration of mitigating evidence in his case. Mm. Now that's something. Now that's something. Something to keep in mind. With that being said, 
Will YNW Melly be sentenced to death? Only time will tell. I'm going to tell you this. As you do your own research into the death penalty, it's a particular case where a man was tried three times. The first um, case or trial ended in a mistrial. The second got sentenced. However, it was overturned. The third, how did it get to third? I don't know. That's when the death penalty was imposed. At some point, we have to look at everything, not from a biased standpoint, not because of our empathy or sympathy for the victims, but to guarantee that justice is served and the right person is sitting on death row. Now, if it's any doubt that that person may not be innocent, however, did not commit a crime or did not get all the requirements needed, for the death penalty, why would you choose it? I don't know. I wouldn't. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to pull up on your girl Mickey Truth. And as always, go over to MickeyTruth.com and get you that merch because you know your girl stay with that work. And in closing, free mailing. No matter what you go through, do what you got to do and conquer the world.